Hi there, welcome to the Top Dog Tips YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be going over blood blisters and does your dog have a blood blister? Here's what to do if they do and how to know if it's a blood blister. Before we begin, please be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you find our content interesting, if you find it informative, if you learn something new, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And also be sure to share it with your friends. That's how we continue to grow our channel. Also be sure to subscribe to our website topdogtips.com. If you click the link in the description below, you will receive a free ebook on 25 vet recommended homemade dog food recipes. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So blood blisters or hematomas are blisters that form on your dog and are filled with blood. If you ever see a blood blister on your dog, you may have some question. What causes blood blisters? Is it something I should be worrying about? Can blood blisters be prevented? Should I seek veterinarian care if I see a blood blister? And and if anything, what should I do to treat a blood blister on my dog? So, like I said, blood blisters are hematomas or blisters filled with blood. The most common area for you to see a blood blister is on your dog's ears. These blisters can also form on other parts of the body as well, though. The reason blood blisters are most commonly found or near a dog's ears that have ear infections or mites may scratch or shake their heads in response, causing the ear flaps to slap against their head. When this is done excessively, it can cause hematomas to form under the skin of the ears. This can lead to further scratching and head shaking and more hematomas. Blood blisters are caused by irritation, excessive scratching, and can be very painful to your dog. It's important to figure out if they're scratching a lot to see if it's a blood blister because more than likely they'll continue to scratch it and make it worse, which could increase the risk of it being infected. So what causes these blood blisters? Like I said, ear infections and mites can be an issue because those cause them to shake their head vigorously and by scratching themselves, they can cause damage to the skin. Some symptoms you'll see if a blood blister appears is swelling of the area, redness of the area, deformation where the blister is located, avoidance of touch or pressure, discoloration of the skin and surrounding area. A damaged blood blister can rupture, causing your dog more pain and possibly an infection. Blood blisters can happen also internally. However, they are harder to notice and diagnose by a veterinarian. Internal blood blisters can be caused by damage to your dog, such as an accident dog fight or other bodily harm. If your dog has an internal blood blister, the organ that it rests on could become damaged. Even though there are not many signs that you can see, your dog may experience the following symptoms. Seizures, comas, neurological damage, organ failure, pain, which I guess you can see if your dog's wincing and incontinence. If you notice that your dog is scratching or shaking its head excessively, then definitely reach out to your vet because there's a chance that your dog has blood blister also, which you know could mean that they also have underlying problems like mites or an ear infection, and then your dog will need a prescription to remedy both of those. To prevent your dog from an internal blood blister, try keeping them out of dog fights and away from physical body harm that may cause internal injury. Basically, if your dog has a blood blister, it's something you should take seriously and you should let your veterinarian take care of it because you should never drain blood blisters yourself unless you are comfortable with properly sterilizing equipment and draining it as well as patching it up. The reason we don't recommend it is also because it could make it worse and cause further infection. All right, well, that's gonna do it for us here at Top Dog Tips. Again, if you find our content informative, if you learn something new, please be sure to like and subscribe and share the channel. With that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.